In this video, we're going to talk about subtracting mixed numbers with like denominators using a concrete model. One option for a concrete model is using pattern blocks. Let's start with a word problem and go from there. Angel drank four and five six cups of water on Wednesday and two and three six cups of water on Saturday. How many more cups of water did she drink on Wednesday than on Saturday? And when you present that story problem or word problem with students, you want to give them the opportunity to choose a strategy on their own. Find a way that they think about that makes sense to them to solve this problem. But what might students do? Many different things they could do. But one option could be using concrete models if they have access to math manipulatives, which hopefully they do. So if they have access to pattern blocks, this is one way that they could solve this problem involving mixed numbers. So let's write out this expression, 4 and 5, 6 minus 2 and 3, 6. So once students have read through the problem and they realize, okay, we're subtracting, we need to figure out what the difference is between these two mixed numbers is. So we have 4 and 5, 6. And we want to take away 2 and 3, 6. How can that be done with pattern blocks? We can ask students, if they need any support with this, what can we use to represent our four holes? One option could be the hexagon, the yellow hexagon. So we take out four hexagons to represent the four holes in the mixed number. Hmm, then I might ask them, okay, how are we going to represent the five, six? Ooh, I know, one of them might say, Triangles, the green triangles, six of them can equal or be equivalent to one hexagon. So let's put that on there to confirm that six triangles is equivalent to the yellow hexagon. There you go. So six triangles make up one hexagon. So then I would ask, okay, now that we know that the green triangles make up the hexagon, the yellow hexagon, how many do we need to represent this mixed number? Well, we need five, six. So if six, six is equivalent to one whole. We can remove one of those six. Now, are you showing four holes and five, six? Student says, yes. What would you do next, I might ask. So they would say, I need to subtract two holes and three, six. And I would follow that up with, okay, what are you gonna subtract first? They might say, I wanna subtract the three, six and go over to their triangles that represent the six and subtract one, two, three of them. Okay, so now they see how many six they have left. I would ask, are you finished? And then hopefully they say, nope, I still need to subtract my two holes and take away one, two of the hexagons. So then I would say, okay, with your concrete model, can you see what the difference is between those two mixed numbers? Yes, we can see that there are two holes remaining and to six. Now let's look at using a diagram to solve that same problem. So again, the word problem states that Angel drank four and five six cups of water on Wednesday and two and three six cups of water on Saturday. How many more cups of water did she drink on Wednesday than on Saturday? So again, when you first give the word problem to your students, you want to give them time to figure it out on their own, come up with strategies and ways to solve on their own. What's one way that they might do is drawing a picture model. So we're going to draw a picture model or a, or a picture diagram to represent this expression. So something students might do is represent their four, four holes using rectangles. If any students stop there, you wanna ask them, okay, how do we represent the five, six? And then they think, oh yeah, I need to draw a fifth hole. What do those five, six look like in that hole? They know to partition that hole into six equal parts, then shade in five of the six. So again, we're allowing students to work through this problem on their own, but if any students struggle and need your guidance, you can ask them things like, okay, so what amount are we taking away? We're taking away two and three, six, they'll say, two holes and three, six. Okay, what can we subtract first? Do you have six to subtract from? Yep, we have five, six here. How many do we need to subtract? We need to subtract three, six. Show me what it looks like to subtract three, six. So at that point, hopefully they're crossing out 
one, six, two, six, three, six. How many six do you have remaining? There are two six here remaining, so we can circle those. All right, is there anything else we need to subtract? Yes. Students are going to say we need to still subtract two holes. Okay, how do we do that? Well, we have four holes, and I can subtract two of them. Great. How many of the holes do you have remaining? One, two. There are two holes remaining. We want to follow that up with what's the difference of four and five, six, minus two and three, six? Can we see that in your picture diagram? Yes. We can see there are two holes and two six remaining. 